Sean Kincaid Show on 97.5, The Fanatic, Philadelphia. Thursday night presents to us a huge dilemma. And, Bob, I don't want to look ahead that much because, you, you know, we, we have game three of the World Series tonight. We're going to get to that. But it does involve our 7-0 and Philadelphia Eagles who deserve a lot of attention here. And we will have a Speak for Yourself with Bob Cooney featuring Nick Sirianni coming up in around 35 minutes. How are we expected to handle a critical World Series game going on the same time as an Eagles game? The 2008 World Series provided a very memorable rain-delayed clinching game. But this would, is a completely different story. And I've got to say, the 17 Eagles games, the minute the schedule comes out, an email goes over to Christina with, okay, here are the dates, here are the times, family calendar's booked. There's nothing going on. We're not, we're not going to the pumpkin patch. We're not going to somebody's uh, you know, a house for a party. Those games are blocked off. Those being at the same time bums me out a little bit. It's the only bad thing about the delay of last night is not having its own night for the Eagles. And because I enjoy the Eagles game being its own entity, it's going to be difficult. I'm not good at the channel flipping, and I'm certainly not good at the dual TVs like you have the setup. I'm not good with that. It's too distracting to me. Yeah. So I, 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 and, and, the, and the Phillies game is going to be so much more important, I believe, unless Hell it's... Yeah, Hell oh, yeah. Well, 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 there's one scenario, and I think Pat's going to agree with me. If it's 3-1 Houston, which I'm say I do not believe right now I do not believe there is going to be, that it will be 3-1 Houston. But if it was 3-1 Houston, I'm going to tell you I think I'd be first eyes on the Eagles. Nope. Second eye on the World Series. Nope. We're talking about the Houston friggin' Texans. No. So for you, no. Eyes will not it will never get your central viewing on no. Thursday night. No, because Thursday night should be a should be a cakewalk. I it mean, should that, be. It should mirror what we saw Sunday. It shouldn't be a game. It should be a blowout that you sit there in the third quarter and go, "All right, uh, what's Twitter saying? Let me check emails. Well, let me play words with friends. Like it should be that kind of game. I should be bored in the second half." Yeah, I I didn't look at it as a dilemma. I look at it more as a fun challenge. I you can't overload me with two great things. And me to say, oh, that sucks. It's two great things at once. At so, the same time. Yeah, but I, I, it's okay. Now, the challenge is, what do you do? Do you go to a bar where you can have both of them on at the same time? But to some of us, going to a bar and not being able to hear is an ideal. Uh, you have one on the TV, one on the iPad, which is which? Uh, do you have two TVs lined up next to each other, on top of each other, whatever it may be? I, I just think it's a great, great night. Like, not only, yeah, it sucks that somebody can't get your full attention, although... 90% of my attention is going to Phillies no matter what. No matter what. So 3-1 three, yeah. three, Houston. Yeah, Eagles Eagles will be up 24-3 to three mid-second quarter. Okay. I, they're just going to blow the doors off of the Texans. Normal, it's not even going to be a challenge. Normally what I would do is I would say watch the World Series game and then watch the Eagles game on DVR and not pay attention to Twitter. But I can't do that. We get up at 4 in the morning. Yeah, no. That's no. not an option for us. If I was if I was on the best show ever, I could do that. Now, and he, I would absolutely be able to put my phone down, watch the game, and not know what the Eagles did, and turn it on, fast forward through commercials, and be able to get through it. All right, so I'm going to surprise the hell out of you guys right now. Because What's that? This, you guys will think, and especially Pat, that I'm not that guy. You're not that guy. But I am that guy in, in this regard. I have to be sitting in the same place during the Phillies playoff run. Okay, that's bizarre. Uh, I know. Have you seen a loss there? No. And the other night, we came home from a party Saturday night, and my son Bobby was sitting in the chair that I normally sit in. And when I got home, I told you guys we were driving, bad timing by us. But when we got home, it was three to nothing. And he stayed in that chair. I stayed what'd in that chair. Why don't you tell I, Bobby I to I should have told Bobby to get, you hey, know, meathead, get out of my ropes. chair. Do the Archie Monster. So, but here's the problem. Thursday night, the one TV on top of the other is downstairs. And that's not where I normally sit. But I have to on Thursday night so I can watch both Eagles and Phillies. Little bit of a dilemma. That is a dilemma. But the teams are going to have to overcome it. That's why I'm letting them know right now that if they feel a little something different, my fault, but please get through it. Eagles iPad, Pat. Yeah. You talk about doing this stuff all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah, Eagles will be on the iPad. And you'll um, just glance, and you're going to literally be just glancing well, at the Eagles. Look, both sports are perfect for this, honestly, because both have so much damn downtime. And the World Series has 15 minute commercials, it seems like, in well, between. Ex- extra 45 seconds or something yeah, every, it every it inning. It feels like an eternity. But, like, both, both sports, with all the downtime they have, are perfect. You'll be able to pay attention, you'll be fine. Um, you know, and, and if it's a situation of the Eagles are about to snap and the Phillies are about to throw a pitch, then I'll just pause one. I mean, it, it won't be that it's hard. It's not that bad. I've done it before. It's Put it this way. I, I'll throw this quote on there. It's a great problem to have. And I'm going to yep. tell you, the one thing I will do is I just got to put the phone down, too, and not worry about yeah. that. Yeah, you got to mute, mute gotta all the You got to mute and do all that stuff and do it. So. The John Kincaid Show on 97.5 The Fanatic. Philadelphia.